try to uh, uh, to counterattack uh, America. So all of these things are brewing, okay, festering, okay, towards World War Three. And I had read some uh, uh, post earlier today how um, uh, April sixth uh, was uh, the, the year. Uh, I, I forgot what year, nineteen. 17 something, I don't know, in which World War I was, okay? That same day, April 6th, and April 6th, two days ago, is when uh, 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 Trump launched those missiles over there at uh, Syria, you know? So, and, and, and that's what people have to realize, okay? These, these elite, uh, uh, quote unquote, Illuminati people deal with numerology, okay? That, that's their whole notion, okay? That, that, uh, Kabbalism, okay? De dealing in numbers, which is why uh, certain days they they have to uh, give offerings, okay, and sacrifices of blood, okay, to their quote unquote God, Satan, their spiritual God, Satan. So don't think that that was by mistake, man. You know, all of these things were already set up. That, that's why they have all of these meetings, okay? The, these global uh, uh, meetings to set up, let me see, yeah, yeah, it's better on this side, now the sun goes down. To set up how the so-called white man is trying to overtake uh, uh, these other kingdoms. Is that better? Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, hey, that's that whole point, man. Like, it, by judgment, okay, is a nation set up. And that judgment, that, that we're setting up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, okay, is a judgment of righteousness. You know? What's, what's the scripture say? Something along the lines that uh, I think where where uh, where scripture says where where Esau to, to take his judgments in my mouth, though though he won't oh, learn, yeah, yeah. though he uh, somewhere oh, in South, though, oh. though though he won't learn. If you got something, I'm, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Yeah, I, I read this. Now this is concerning uh, about Esau and him him uh, making fire come from heaven in the sight of men and deceiving by those miracles. All right. This is uh, Like I say, that was dealing with NATO and, and, uh, and that bombing campaign of, of Serbia and Kosovo. And that was on March 23rd, 1999. This from an article that said was was NATO's intervention in Kosovo, in Kosovo in 1999 just. This is, this is what this uh, article by Laura, a woman named Laura Wise, from June 21st, 2013. So I'm gonna just jump into it. It says, on March 23rd, 1999, NATO began a three month long bombing campaign against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, allegedly to prevent the ethnic cleansing of Kosovo, or of Kosovo Albanians in the, in the semi, yeah, in the semi autonomous uh, autonomous region of Serbia by Sladabin Milcevic's authorian authoritarian the authoritarian regime or regime the decision to launch a humanitarian intervention and the way the campaign was conducted is highly or is a highly controversial subject as is expected with such a diffuse concept that contravenes the inter international norm of non-intervention so and, and that's that's the point here, here the uh, article says that it's a highly controversial subject because really NATO didn't have any any business intervening in, in Kosovo, in Serbia. But that's why the scripture says, you know, that he had the power to de deceive by those miracles. That's all NATO and the U.S. does is to deceive. They deceive the masses. So while the brother get that, I'm gonna go back and read it. <clears throat> now 
this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. It says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the, by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. The beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the beast, uh, yeah, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship that image or the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah. That's, the, that's the power that Esau has today. So it's coming down to the wire, what a brother was saying with that mark of the beast, that either you gonna take, you gonna take this beast mark and get down with that image or you gonna be destroyed. So that's why we dwell it in the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that we can have the protection right. of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai when we tell Esau to take his chip and shove it up his red crackery ass. <laughs> God, God, you know, God. We, we want that protection of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that's why you see us out here faithfully to prophesy the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Come hell or high water. I got that one. All this right. is a, uh, oh, you want to continue? Let me go ahead and okay, knock it out. Go I got one more. Let me see, yeah. This verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Let's talk about this RFID microchip. All the image of the beast is gonna come down to this. Right. Because see, you people, y'all are already indoctrinated with that image. So when this is presented to you, you're not gonna give it a second thought. Right. You're just gonna, you're gonna jump into it head first. Yeah. This thing ain't gonna take no persuasion. No, I mean, no if, if, if I can say this real yeah. quick, I mean, as you see people lined up for iPhone 5, 4, 6, 7, Hey, you got people lined up for Esau's technology right now. Already, bro. You know? And I mean, I mean, they don't know what's all in these cell phones, the capability of what's happening. So when the so-called white man says, hey, guess what, man? This chip that you're gonna get, you you won't need to unlock your, your cell phones anymore. You can open up your, your, your doors to your cars. It, it, it'll be a smart device. You, your bank accounts will be tied to it. Most of these people are gonna jump head first for it. Plus they're gonna sell it, you know, as the, the new best thing, you know? He's already putting it in other shows and programs, you know, subtly, to, to have people believe like, hey, it's okay. So yeah, I mean, hey, it's gonna be easy, as the brother was saying, to have people fall for it, you know? I want to show uh, Jake that article, man. Cause I know I butchered that article, but hey, you brother can go and you, check you it out. Give the website. Man. Con. Which one did you see it? Oh uh, shit! This is uh, www.e-ir.info. Yeah. So if you want to check it out, you just type in Kosovo in the right. search engine. You know, you get the, it'll give you the download. But yeah, I, I just wanted to do that because I know I butchered that article. <laughs> butchered that article, man. Hey, man, it's all through spirit. Yeah, yeah, you were finished with your point? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. got come, a little come. bit more. Yeah, go It's verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the, mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score and six. Right. And that number in the Greek, man, breaks down to chai zai stigma, which is, it, that, that stigma goes back to stigmata, which means to print. That mark, when you look up mark, it's in the Greek, karagma. Karagma means something inserted. So this mark, that, that mark of the beast is something that they're gonna insert inside of you. Right. Either in your right hand or your forehead. Yep. 
And, yeah, it, because it said uh, to where no man can buy or sell. Okay, so so it's gonna be a device in which it's going to uh, disable you from from uh, merchandise and from feeding yourself. You know, and it's gonna be a slow, gradual thing. You know, and at first. Uh, Esau is gonna entice you with this chip, you know, showing you all the features of it, okay? But then once uh, enough people get it, he, he's gonna uh, make it mandatory, you know? He's gonna say, hey, look, man, I mean, because that's another part of the reason why uh, 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 Trump shot the missiles over there in uh, Syria, you know? It's because his whole economic system, that dollar, is crashing. That petrodollar no longer is having the same amount of weight in which it does uh, has in, in ancient days. So now that dollar is, is crashing. So he has to come up with a new currency, okay, in which people can use, which is digital currency, which is basically instead of him, like, instead instead of him having this fractu uh, fractional reserve banking. Now, he, hey, I, all money is just gonna be like points. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, it's just some some fabricated number in which so-called white man has, and then this way, he he can raise the prices on on food. He can raise the prices on gas. He he can cripple the the whole economy. Well, uh, within within uh, one stroke, a one key move. You know. So yeah, and most of these people they have no idea. They, they think that the RFID microchip is going to be something new and fascinating. Right. So yeah, I mean, the only point I wanted to bring out a little bit further was that you, you're not going to be able to buy or sell without it. And that Israelites, okay, the, the, the elect of Yahweh by Shimei Shah are not going to take this chip, man, or anything that resembles it, okay? And it don't matter if it's uh, anywhere in your body. The scripture says right hand or forehead, but but if you get it on your left leg, you still taking the chip. You still taking the mark of the beast. That's right, brother. Yeah, think about it, man. Just the term, think about it. Mark <laughs> of the beast. Right. That means just like anything else, man, if you let somebody mark you, yep. they're saying that you belong to them, right? So if you take this chip, that means you belong to Esau and this beast system right. that he's constructed. So then the, the Heavenly Father can't do nothing after that but destroy you. Right. You are denouncing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by taking this mark. You saying later for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, I'm down with Esau and Satan. Yeah. This is what you are saying. That's the beast mark. I, I got to get a precept on this, man, because yeah. we went into this earlier this week, man. Like, I mean, that, that's what two-thirds of our people are going to do, man. You know? Two-thirds of our people have already made it up in their mind that they're going to worship uh, uh, the so-called white man instead of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shad. Yeah, they are already. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a, it's already. I mean, already. they they don't care, you know. Uh, this is John chapter 19, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse 14. It says, and it was the preparation of the Passover, in about the sixth hour, and he said unto the Jews, Behold, your king talking about Yahweh Shai. This is Pilate talking about uh, uh, before the judgment of Yahweh Shai, talking to the people. Verse 15 says, but, but they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, uh, the chief priest answered, saying, we have no king but Caesar. So, so yeah, like two thirds of our people, man, hey, they gonna take this chip because they they only have their king, the so-called, the so-called white man, you know? Like, like they don't they don't wanna worship uh Yahweh Shah because as scripture said, they they've never known him, you know? So they're gonna be the first to take this chip because this is their king. Yeah, it said we have no king but Caesar, you know? We have no, no king but the so-called white man. Hey, that, that's why scripture says that all the uh, wicked shall die in their, in their wickedness, man. Right. You know? Like, 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 that's wicked as hell, man, to denounce Yahweh Shimei Shah 
for some wicked ass technology to be a slave for Esau, man. Like, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, and, and at that time, man, like, I mean, even as I think about it now, man, like, do you understand how much of a sorcery that you had to be under, how much of a spell to denounce Yahweh Shai as he was on the earth, performing those miracles, healing people, you know, teaching, you know, giving wisdom. So yeah, as the scripture says, man, all, all, the, all the unrighteous shall die in their unrighteousness. That's right, bro. You know? Come. I had one more. Right. That, that, that was it Did on that point. That yeah, 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 I got okay. it. This is Psalms chapter, chapter 50. Hey, right here. Hey, man. Well, I mean, listen, part of that is, they man. They do that shit anywhere, but they're going to come right here, man. That's that spirit of rebellion in America. Oh, gone. Gone. And, and the thing about it is, like, it, it, it goes to show you that, like, like these people are far from you, how old by you, man, how old man? Right. You know? But every every week we come out here, they want to argue with us about everybody can be saved. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because uh, what does it say? That that their uh, that their conscience was seared with a hot iron. <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> they, 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 hey, listen, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. You know, like, like you are talking to an empty vessel, you yeah. know? But you know, like, if you cook, if you brothers, I know brothers love to cook. When, uh. when you see a piece of meat, what are you doing? You sealing in the juices. Uh -huh. So if your conscience is seared with a hot iron, that means your sins and wickedness is locked in. Right. Right. This word can't penetrate. Yep. And that's called the most high, the heavenly father, his will is to destroy your wicked ass. Right? That's right. That's right. You know? Yeah. Well, All right. That goes perfectly into this description. Uh, <laughs> this is Psalms 50 and 16. It says, But unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Bro, read that again. I Call forgot. it and read it. This is Psalms chapter 50. Verse 16, but unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Now the first thing you gotta understand in this scripture, who is the wicked? Right. Who is this talking about? Is this talking about anybody that's out here just doing something wicked? It's talking about a specific nation of people. Right. It's talking about a, a nationality of people. You know who the wicked are? Yeah. Y'all know who the wicked are in the earth? Who is the wicked in the earth right now? Y'all know who the wicked are uh -huh. in the Bible? Anybody? Can y'all tell me who are the wicked? Well, just in case you didn't know, y'all are the wicked. Let's talk about the so-called white people. So-called white people, according to the Bible, are the wicked upon the face of the earth. That's right. They're the ones who allow for homosexuality. They're the ones who committing all the bestiality, right. pedophilia, right. so forth and so on, doing, committing all the murder throughout the world. Wars for no reason, just for the uh, ship, uh, you know, for profit. Right. Blood for money. That's the so-called white people. Right. You can't hide it, you know. Yeah. That's what it is. So that's what you have to understand first of all. Now go back, read that again. Right? This is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said. Unto the wicked, unto the so-called white man, woman and child. This is what the Lord said. Go ahead. What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Right, you see them in all the churches right. calling themselves holy. Right. Joel Osteen. Right. All these other guys calling themselves men of the Lord. Right. The Heavenly Father saying, what have you to do to declare his statutes? Yeah, the, the wickedness of these uh, First Baptist Church, Second yeah. Baptist Church. Church, Third Baptist Church. John, Hi, y'all. Yo. John Hagee. <laughs> yeah. All you the know? clowns up in the pulpit calling themselves prophets and priests of, of, of the Most High. Says, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right. The covenant don't belong to y'all. Right. I'm talking about all. And that's why, like I just said, every week we got to come out here damn near down there every week yep. and deal with somebody who want to tell us that Jesus died for everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody can be saved. Right. Well, here the Heavenly Father said unto the wicked, 
what has thou to do to declare his statutes and judgments mm -hmm. and take this covenant yeah. in thy mouth? Meaning right. the covenant don't belong to you. Right. The covenant is for 